And, uh, hello and welcome to the Quaker Cinema Movie Review Show. I am Mike Ernest and we have with us Jerry Latonich. And our guest today is Ben Diedrich. And today we will be inter we will be reviewing the movie Birds of Prey. And Birds of Prey is the latest in the DC comic book films come to life. And it is very different from the last DC film that I think is maybe the best film that I've seen, which is The Joker. This is the story of Harley Quinn, who is the Joker's girlfriend. And in this film, they have broken up. The Joker really plays no role in this film at all. And we basically are introduced to an entirely different world than The Joker. The Joker was one in which it was a world we could identify with. It just looked like it was taking place in New York City or any other large city, which was called Gotham. And this is some bizarre world where everything is different. Uh, everyone is kind of strange and it's just constant violence. There is a nonstop opportunity to get into a fight. It seems as if the, the movie is an hour and 45 minutes long, an hour of it to an hour and 15 minutes is what I would call a choreographed fight scene. That's probably the, the strongest positive that I come up with film in that they are creative. They found new and different ways to slug it out with people and they put a lot of thought into it. They put a lot of effort into making it different, um, but it really falls short. And I think it's partly because the Joker is so good and it, it uses so little violence that when it is used in the Joker, it is disturbing and it punctuates what happens. This is just nonstop. And it became a little tiresome after a while. There's also a storyline of trying to get a diamond from a young girl who has swallowed it. There's the villain in it. But really the whole storyline is one long fight scene. What do you think, Jerry? It's extremely tongue-in-cheek. It's not at all like the Joker movie. Um, there are some really good choreographed fight scenes. It reminds me of the John Wick fight scenes where you look at it and you go, where did? how could they have planned this out and choreographed it to that degree? Um, if you're into nonstop action, um, realistically, absolutely no plot line, no character development, uh, this is your movie. What do you think, Ben? Well, uh, I agree with what's been said so far. I think that if you're going to this movie looking for some action, this movie's rated R. It doesn't really pull any punches. It delivers some very hard-hitting action. Uh, it's very well choreographed. I think especially the final big fight at the end is very satisfying to watch if you're into that sort of thing. But the rest of the movie to me is just a bit of a mess. Uh, it's like you can understand what's driving the plot. This diamond is driving the plot, but the characters, it has to introduce so many characters and they're not all given proper time to develop. And it's just kind of all over the place and will leave you waiting until the next big action sequence. But if you're a fan of the character Harley Quinn, she's really the main force behind this movie. And so if you like her antics and she doesn't get on your nerves, you might enjoy this movie seeing Harley Quinn narrate this action fest but overall i would it's not my kind of movie there's a lot of humor in it like he said it's very tongue-in-cheek but the humor didn't really land for me i never found myself laughing at the movie but you know different strokes for different folks some people might really get a lot out of this movie so that's my we what would you give it as far as the cues go in this one and a scale of one to five how many cues uh two out of five one and a half I'm gonna go with two and a half cues. Uh, they put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into those uh, choreographed scenes, but little in the plot. So our next film, uh, hopefully we have some better reviews for. Uh, <laughs> next week we'll be having Sonic the Hedgehog. Thanks for watching.